Hi everyone, now I get, as you know, probably lots of requests for flies and I uh, consistently get one for this fly here uh, this is my first go of uh, tying one of these for a long long time it's called the Jersey Herd and uh, basically it's an old fly well, the, I don't know how it goes back to the 70s or 60s, I'm not sure uh, or even further back, I'm not 100% but the gentleman who originally came up with the fly was a guy called Tom Evans and uh, he tied this to represent a small fish so I'm going to give it a go uh, as you see I've already tied one but just to see if it suited this hook I, I don't have many of uh, the, the larger hooks and it is tied on size 6, 8, 10s that's a lure size hook and uh, the, the ones I have are a bit small so I've got this hook here this is a this hook here is a bomber hook, believe it or not, but I do tie fry patterns on it, so uh, and it's a, I've tied it many a times, done sort of zonker patterns and everything on it, and it's a, it's a nice style, I just like tying on it. So you see it's a size 6, and it's from Partridge. Now, the, the way I'm going to tie it, I'm just going to start, I'm going to use the Pyron thread, in this case this is just an 080 thread, you can use whatever thickness you like, or whatever thread you have. Now I have waxed the thread so I'm just going to run down put a layer of thread on the hook it doesn't have to be perfect but as long as you've got some thread there it gives you grip now I'm going to take it to basically I'm in line with the barb of the hook which is there then I'm going to tie in the end of the book I was looking at they use uh, peacock curl, bronze peacock curl obviously but, and they talk about six strands or so so that's what I'm going to do it's going to take off six lengths. Got a broken one there. But I'm going to tie it in at the back. I mean, basically, this is going to be the back of the, the fry pattern. Now, the Jersey Herd, I've always looked at it as a pattern for a, a small perch, obviously, but any small fry pattern. Now, you, you tie this in at the back, a few turns, make sure it's nice and secure. So I turn underneath there so it doesn't move that's fine tail length well basically you look at your fry pattern don't be too short a reasonable length and then you can always take something off it if you're not happy with the length so I would say around about looking at the body length tails round about there now don't throw these away I'll keep, it, keep the ends uh, for the head so I'll just lay them on my desk because the hero has a hero head on it now this, as I say, is going to be the back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in a, this is a medium thick copper wire for the rib. I'm just going to catch this in the length of the body. So we are, and I'm just going to take it, basically take the thread up. Oops. It's quite a big fly or a big hook this, it's not, it's slightly bigger than a, like a standard lure size hook. Take this up and then I'm going to tie in this is uh, oh, the stickers fell off but basically this is number six it's the glow bright yarn multi yarn and it's an orange and because it's a copper tinsel body the orange works with that so I'm just going to take a good length off sometimes I use like something if I'm winding a floss light body I would put it on to a, a bobbin but I'm just going to wind it on so I'm taking the thread up now I want this to, I want to use this to build up the body, the, the uh, shape of the fry, the fry pattern. Let's catch this in nice and tight, but I'm going to take my thread away. Uh, it's easy enough to put it back on. So it's just be in the way when I'm winding the floss. Because I'm trying to get a shape, so I'm just going to wind this down. See, so you could put it onto a bobbin, it'd probably be quicker. If you were tying a lot of these, I would probably do that. Now, I'm just open it out, make sure it's nice and flat, especially when I get near the back. Because I wanted to taper up. Just tie it right towards, right towards the herald itself. And then we start to work our way up. Now I'm going to have to come back down because I need to build up the body a bit more. Now the length of the floss is probably about a, 
I don't know how many feet it was like, but a couple of feet anyway. And then I'm going to make sure this floss is open now, so it covers really quick. You could go a thicker body, but it's up to yourself. Just spread it out, and then work up. Just make it as smooth as possible. Now, you will be wondering where I've got the tinsel now. I'm going to catch the tinsel in at the top. But once I get the floss here, I'm going to put my orange thread back on, fire orange. Just tie off my floss. Shall we? I mean, you can work out a better way to tie it. This is, say, I've only, it's a long time since I tied these. You will find a better way, an easier way to tie this. The head length of this is probably like a quarter of the length of the fly, I would say, around about that. So, because we've got a hackle to wind in. Now, the tinsel I'm using, I'm going to be using this tinsel, it's really thin. This, I got this from uh, UTC quite a few years ago. I'm not sure if you can still buy it, but if you've got a copper tinsel, uh, I mean, it'll still be fine. You know, I need a length of this that it gets me basically down and back up. Catch this on. And I'm just going to wind down. Just take my time. It doesn't have to be exactly turning, t touching, sorry. It's the best to get it started, like, when it's touching. What I'm doing here is I'm just loosening it off and sliding it back. It's quite curly this. Could probably use the uni tinsel, the copper and blue. It may have been better. Now, what I like to do here, see when it tapers, any tinsel is going to slip. So if you want to stop the slipping, I just put a wee touch of super glue. Near the back, I've just wee touch too much there. It's going to take away. Now as you wind onto that, obviously it's going to stick. So just what you can do, do a turn, allow it to, to stick, because it will instantly stick with the super glue. Just work towards the back. And then we're just going to then work our way up. And this will tidy things as we go up. You get a nice body if you do that. Now you could change the, you could use the same style of fly and just change it to silver or pearl or whatever. Get to the top. And we can secure it in there, actually. Now you could use quite a few things for the body, but originally it was copper. Now the ones I used to see are quite regular. They're all tied with gold. Now gold was wrong, it was originally, it was copper. Uh, according to the book, anyway. Now I want to do a good turn at the back. The, the wire, and then I'm going to work my way up, just ribbing it. Yeah, I'm going to do a straight turn basically at the top here, and then come straight up, follow it with the wire, eh, sorry, with the thread, and bend, bend the wire 90 degrees, and that will lock it in. What I'm going to do here is just make sure that's secure, and then bend and break away, just bring the thread back up. Because we're going to catch in with Harold. Let's catch in at the top. See the shape I've got? It's fine. Oh. Trim this. Basically, in a way, so when you both the wind on, it sort of tapers. See how it develops when you wind your thread on. If it doesn't taper too well, you can always go back and trim it a bit better. Yeah, that looks fine. Now I'm going to stick to the fire on thread at the moment because I'll change it to brown once I put the hackle on. Now it's just a hot orange cock hackle. Quite short, you don't want it too long. Just to give the impression of the gills really. Basically the movement, uh, the gills near the head. It just makes sense, turn that way. Uh, you could use hen or cock, I'd say either would be fine. Now I'm just going to Fold it, just run it through my fingers, and then 
Well, it's up to yourself. It depends on the hackle that you have. I'll see what it's like. I've got two to three turns in there. That's fine. Then just then catch in your hackle. Just gonna basically fold it back here. Break the tip away. So that's it. That's it. Really held in nice and tight. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my thread down, tidying things. And change to a dark brown thread. This is a uni dark brown in 8 And And uh, we're going to be tying in. You see the the waist then? Just leave that. Uh, the brown thread. But take away the fire on. Okay, I'm going to use that waist piece to actually. I'm going to twist it around the peacock curl. I'm just going to make sure this is tidy first before I do anything. Yeah, it looks fine. Now I'm going to wax the, the thread, wax the waist piece as well, really wax it, put plenty of wax on it. So what I'm going to do is take my thread down now to the a head length, small head length away from the, the eye. Now we've got the waist from the actual back here, so there's about, as I say, six strands here. So I'm just going to line up the tips here. And then what I'm going to do is tie this up. To the, the waist piece of the thread. Bring my thread back down to this, the head length away from the eye. Just a small head length anyway. There's the waist piece there. And then I'm going to basically twist them together. Rope the waist piece together. And the hair. This is going to form the head. And then we just wind down like it's a chenille. You could wind over uh, some lacquer or some varnish or super glue to protect it, but I found this has always been tight enough. Once we get to the the eye of the hook, which is three or four turns in, fold it back, and then just bolt your head up to bring the thread up onto. To that so that'll tuck it back so we've got it tucked back and then we come in with a sharp pair of scissors trim that away and then all we have to do is wet finish and there we are there's gels ahead now all we have to do is varnish the head just a wee Maybe a couple of times just to finish it off. Just get a decent head. There's a wee fibre there, but we can always pull it off when we're, when the varnish is dry. As I said, just another coat of varnish should do it. There's that one wee fibre, it's annoying me. A pair of tweezers gets rid of it. And there we go, that's the jersey hair. Now I've got the other one lying here. Uh, the tail's a, a wee bit shorter, but it's fine. So there's a couple of nice flies and uh shows a wee bit better taper. You I mean the more you tie the better you'll get at it. I mean I've I say I haven't tied many and uh, that looks fine. So anyway I hope you enjoyed that and as I say that's the, the gels I heard and thank you for watching.